in the angelic ranking in all of creation only man could reveal the dimensions of god and lucifer had perceived this thing so he wanted to enter into it i will exalt my throne above this the second way to develop life is through meditation on the word of god meditation has two layers the first layer is to picture it and then the second layer is to talk it the life in you will never be strong until as you master meditation this is why in the demonic world they do a lot of meditation they know that even the soulish life is energized through meditation there are people who can meditate and begin to have astral projections because they know the power of meditation if you have studied anything around new age or the new age movement you know that their strength is meditation they can sit down and they will be chanting for 10 hours for 10 months every day and they will wake up a young man let me tell you something a friend of mine is in enugu he went to preach to a young man and he was talking to him how the power of god breaks patterns in family bloodline and the guy laughed he said that's not the only way he belongs to one of the new age order what did he do they told him that there is a gap in his lineage that he needed to travel back in time to correct and they gave him some words to speak at that junction but for him to get to that junction he needed to meditate for three months every day for a particular number of hours and the guy will lock himself in the room and be meditating and be meditating as he was meditating sullen, suddenly the spirit world started becoming real to him just because he was chanting that thing that frequency began to create resonance and he became more sensitive he will be meditating in this room people will be talking in the next flat he will know exactly the conversation they are having because his his antenna was becoming sharper 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 when he read three months suddenly he appeared in the timeline of his grandfather and he was seeing everything they were doing he was watching their life like a movie until what they told him was the cause when the experience was playing out he began to talk what they told him and when he was done talking he left the vision two months later he exploded into millions he became a billionaire nobody anointed him nobody imparted him through meditation he entered into astral projection and corrected something by enchantment if they can do this people that the holy ghost is not of course there are demons working with them they don't they are not aware there are demons working with them but if they can achieve this how much more you that have the holy ghost and so the bible teaches that we should the word meditation is hagar talk the word to yourself every day he said in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 he said this book of the law should not depart out of your mouth he said meditate upon it day and night and see that you do what is written therein he said then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success i tell people christianity is not mystical but it must be practiced many believers are not practicing the difference between we christians and people in the demonic world is practice if a demon is supposed to meditate on a book for one year five hours every day he won't miss once once he won't miss but tell a christian read one verse of the bible every day for one month when it's one month he has missed 10 times and then when there is a challenge he stands and he begins to quote what he heard his pastor say because he was taught religion that if you say it loud or if you say it fast or if you say it walking in a certain way it will work all of that is religious garbage whether you sit and say it stand and say it if you have the power it will answer and if you don't have the power if you like say it like your pastor dress like him walk like him shout like him you will not get the result because the spirits hearing you they are aware who has the reality when you talk it to yourself after a while it will become pictures in your heart that's why i said in second corinthians 3 18 
He said, we all with open faces, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord. He said, we are changed. When you are talking it and you start seeing it, you start becoming it. So you can be as bright as God if you will meditate enough to see it the way it is. Because your transformation is a function of your meditation and contemplation. It's not a function of your department in church. It's not a function of your position in church. There are many choir directors that have impregnated people. So choir director is not spirituality. There are many prophets and apostles that are fraud stars, swindlers, fornicators and liars. A title is not what makes you strong in life. It is meditation and contemplation that makes you strong. Because if you don't see it, you will not become it. And the gateway to seeing and becoming is meditation. When you want to grow in this thing, you will pack scriptures with you every day. You will memorize the scripture first. When you have memorized it, you now start talking it to yourself. You start talking it to yourself. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall fear no evil. See, as you are talking it, a point will come, what you are saying will start being animated to you. It will become like a picture. When you are sleeping, you will see God covering you. The moment you start seeing it, it start becoming your world. A point will come when you will be in the same crisis that other people were in and died. You will come out. Even you will not know how. The words you spoke and saw have become your reality. You want to energize eternal life? You must master the art of meditation. We talk what the world has put in our mouth. How do you think people become masturbators? There's no teacher anywhere teaching people how to masturbate. How do you think people become so bound to immorality? The world understands it. Buy a razor blade, you'll see a naked person there. Buy a beak, you'll see a naked person. Buy a singlet, you'll see a naked person. They push nudity to society to a point where anything you look at, you'll see nudity. Even your notepad in your phone that is meant for you to take note, you will click it, suddenly you see a woman with her chest open. And you are wondering, what does the chest of a woman have to do with my notepad? They are bombarding pictures to you. Because they know if you see it, the power to process it will be activated. So what they are doing is an impartation. Impartation is not only when hands are laid. There are certain impartations that are activated through sight. Look at naked picture for a while. You will be shocked the kind of creativity around immorality that will awoken in your spirit. And you will find yourself fornicating helplessly. You will be crying and say, God, help me. What you need is not God, help me. Change your diet. Even if it is caused by a demon, cast out that demon. So long as that person is still watching that thing, he will still go back. But if you want to live above it, start seeing something different. Go to the internet. Go and download healing videos. Watch it for one month and see what will happen to you. You are not praying, you know, just be watching the healing videos. Be watching it. Be watching it two hours every day. After one month, you'll be shocked. Somebody says it's deaf. You say open. The ear will open. You will ask yourself, when was that anointed to open deaf ears? You have become it. Somebody will tell you he cannot walk. Even before you think, you'll say, get up. You will not even know when you told the person to get up. And the moment you speak, the power that you have incubated yourself with will be poured on that person. You become what you see and you become what you say to yourself. Some of us cannot be delivered from sickness because we have told ourselves too many times, I am sick. Some people will even tell you, this is my headache, this is my cancer, this is my high blood pressure. If you possess it, who will take it from you? Nobody. Are you following? This is the practicality of Christianity that many are not taught. What do you see? What do you hear? You want to live a supernatural life. Ask yourself, in this week, how many supernatural things have you told yourself? 
And in this week, how many supernatural things have you put your eyes on? Do you think the supernatural will just appear from where? You want to live a supernatural life in this month. How many supernatural things have you told yourself? And how many supernatural things have you seen? How can you be supernatural? You think when we walk out and we lay hands on the sick, they recover. We are doing it just because God came into the meeting and is answering. God has already answered all the prayers of men. Men need to know how to walk out the prayer. And the way you walk it out is by talking it and by seeing it. Everybody sitting here can lay hands on the sick, the sick will recover. But how many of us are conscious of it? Ephesians 4.24 It said, put on the new man which after Christ is renewed in righteousness and true holiness. If you have not put on that consciousness, you can never see that manifestation. We pray for laying on of hands so much until we have idolized it, yet we have not seen the manifestation. There's nothing wrong with it, but if your consciousness is wrong, your manifestation will be wrong. You cannot produce something that is different from your consciousness. The goal of meditation is to alter your consciousness because your consciousness is the frequency that bets your manifestation how many of you know that prayer activates the supernatural how many of us know and so what you need now is not another teaching go and pray are you following let's read second corinthians 5 from verse 1 to 3 let me show you what paul said or oh, before you read that check philippians 3 10 I'll show you Paul's desire and I'll show you how Paul hoped to achieve it. Achieve it. This is Paul's desire. He said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. So Paul's desire is to re replicate Christ in all of the facets of his life. Christ as a person, Christ in his resurrection power, Christ in his reproach, and Christ even in his pains. That's Paul's desire. But how did Paul hope to achieve it? 2 Corinthians 5 from verse 1 to 3. See what Paul said. I'm rounding up. So follow me closely. He said, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, he said, we have a building of God and house not made by the hand of man, a tunnel in the heavens. Paul is saying, just in case this body wants to fail, or in case this body is taken away, he said, there's another body, a celestial body that we have, and it's not created by man, by the hand of man, but by God, and it's a tunnel in the heavens. He said, for, the, for in this we groan endlessly, because we know we have a tabernacle, he said, we groan in prayer, desiring if this thing were to happen only at rapture why will you be desiring it now why will you be groaning for it now because paul knows that if we pray it can happen now he says so we desire to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven so paul is saying the eternal dimension of us as we pray we can enter into it and what he was saying is not a, a an, an unattainable thing Luke chapter 9 verse 28 and 29 see Jesus demonstrating it Luke 9 28 to 29 he said it came to pass about an eight days after the sayings he took Peter James John and James and went up into the mountain to pray now see what happened and as he prayed this is what Paul said he wants to achieve he said the fashion of his countenance was altered even his clothes became sensitive his raiment was white and glistering he had immortalized himself through prayer when we pray the glory radiates men may not see it physically but when the glory begins to grow in you the glory has the power to create supernatural manifestations around you when you find a christian who is barren of glory barren of immortality the problem is that there's no prayer in his life there's no meditation in his life there's no response to the promptings of the spirit and so christianity actually is the act of meditation christianity is the act of prayer 
Christianity is the art of responding to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. But we have reduced Christianity to be becoming a part of a denomination. That's not Christianity. You can be a part of a denomination and that's beautiful. They can mentor you there. They can guide you there. But the organic aspect of Christianity is that you must make a practice of responding to the promptings of your spirit. You must make a practice of meditating on the word of God and you must make a practice of prayer. This is what awakens the powers of eternal life in your life which is immortality, which is glory, which is endless excellence, which is failurelessness, which is living in this world like a creature of the next world. Are you following? It's not all the time your emotions need to be stirred for you to walk in reality. 